our project historian, Aaron Good, will give us an overview of the history of this part of Grand Avenue, which is closest to downtown. Aaron? Thank you, Rhoda. Thank you all for being with us today. Uh, the saga of Grand Avenue is a tapestry of stories, uh, compelling stories that intersect with other stories layered on and woven into yet other stories, sometimes in the history of a single unassuming building. Grand Avenue is the story of immigrants and dreamers. It's the story of faith and family. It's the story of food, a veritable United Nations of cuisine. It's the story of entrepreneurship, not just in business, but civic, cultural, and spiritual entrepreneurship. It's the story of strong, self-made women like Lillian Lumpkin and Teresa Falcino. It's the story of music and melody and jazz at Lillian's Paradise and Neapolitan song at the San Carlino. It's the story of vaudeville and movies and cosmopolitan spaces like the Dreamland Theater where people of all backgrounds encountered each other through the medium of culture. It's the story of pioneers, some of the earliest Jewish and the earliest Puerto Rican settlers in New Haven. It's the enduring story of the oldest synagogue in Connecticut, the oldest hat store in New Haven, both still going strong well into their second centuries. It's the story of celebrities like Artie Shaw, once one of the most famous uh, and highest paid men in America who got his start there, right here on Grand Avenue, but it's also the story of ordinary people, of butchers and bakers and clockmakers and nuns at St. Patrick's and poor scholars and kids playing pool at the boys club and everything above and below and in between. It's the story of William Lanson and Irish canal workers and the Grand Avenue Jews. It's the story of the great migration of African Americans from south to north. It's the story of good government policy, the New Deal, the Wagner-Steagall Act, the creation of the New Haven Housing Authority, and Farnham Ports out of the aspiration for quality, affordable housing that we're still seeking to fulfill. But it's also the story of bad government policy in the form of racially segregated schools, uh, in the form of highways and urban renewal tearing apart neighborhoods, unleashing a spiral of disruption and disinvestment. Grand Avenue is the story of success, failure, continuity, tradition, the story of transformation, decline, and, and rebirth. In our book, you will find all these stories and many, many more. Geographically, our tour covers uh, a mere six or seven square blocks, but contained in those blocks is the dynamic, ever-evolving story of New Haven, in a microcosm of urban history in America writ large. As with all our books, the neighborhood, the hyperlocal, uh, is the portal through which the particular passes to become the universal. There's no formal dedication in our book, but like all our books, uh, it is dedicated to the people of New Haven, past and present, in all their complexity and diversity, people whose rich and resonant humanity, we believe, bursts forth from every page. We celebrate, we uplift these neighbors from the past whose tapestry of stories it is unfailingly a privilege to share. Thank you all for being here. Wow, Aaron is our project historian and we are so grateful to have his help on this.